So yeah, let's start with Weinstein. And basically what we've got is, it may sound a little strange, but uh, we've got we've got some toilet talk. <laughs> so in Weinstein, now folks that have been following this whole Harvey Weinstein saga know that he's already been convicted in New York, right? He's already serving I think a 23 year sentence. I was reading this. I may have I may have flubbed the number, but I'm sure it'll come up in the article. Um, I know I was reading it earlier. I'm, I'm, it, it should come up in at least one of these. But he is already serving out a, a conviction. So he is he is in L.A. County Sheriff's. Uh, uh, um, what's the word for it? I'm totally brain farting. I'm a professional. <laughs> um, you know, he's he's in he's in. I mean, he's he's in prison essentially. Um, and so he's still. Uh, He's still, uh, uh, you know, got this other trial, but at the same time, he's already serving out a sentence. Um, so, and I will say actually, before I get into this article that I want to make sure that when I'm talking about these cases, I, I mention when I have, when I feel personally that there's a little bit of a, of a thumb on the scale for me personally. And on this one, I feel like. I've seen a lot coming out from the from the New York trial. I know he's already got that conviction from the New York case, and I know that that's going to be that's going to come out in this trial because of the the California rules of evidence in these kinds of cases and criminal cases. And so, for me personally, I I I feel I feel like he's going to get convicted again. I feel like this one is is going to happen. Um, and and it probably should because, uh, you know. Maybe that's me being biased. I'm still going to remain open. I'm still going to call things when when things are for his benefit. Um, but I I personally feel like he's probably guilty. <laughs> All right. Harvey Weinstein's attorney told the judge at his SA trial Tuesday that conditions in the holding cell where he's being kept after court are unhygienic and almost medieval. Attorney Mark Worksman asked Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Lisa B. Lynch for help with the issue at the beginning of the second day of jury selection in the former movie mogul's trial on 11 counts of SA. He said Weinstein is being left alone in his wheelchair for three or four hours in an unsanitary fetid holding cell at the courthouse before he is taken back to jail. It's almost medieval, the conditions, Worksman said. He's 70 years old. I'm worried about him surviving this ordeal without a heart attack or stroke. Weinstein and the panel of 71 jurors who were brought in to fill out an initial questionnaire on Tuesday were not yet present during Worksman's remarks. Lynch replied that she would talk to deputies from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, which runs the jails and transports inmates to court, but that her power was limited over the matter. I'm not minimizing it. I'm just not sure. There's a lot to be done, she said. Weinstein, who is allowed to change into a suit from his jail attire for trial, was wheeled into the courtroom soon after and slowly and carefully climbed into a seat at the defense table. So we've already got like a few things going on here, right? We've got, you know, he's obviously, like I said before, he's already, you know, serving a sentence. So he's he's in the LA County Sheriff's Department facilities. And so the judge is saying, look, I, I don't I don't have much power over the way that they that they run their stuff. And that is probably fairly true. Um, and I will say, look, even though he's been convicted, he still has a right to certain uh, proper conditions. I've I have uh, I have worked on the kind of cases where people who are incarcerated in the state of California are suing the state of California because they're saying I am not being treated properly. There are cases where where that has merit. There are cases where that has zero merit. Um, you know, I've, I've 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 seen plenty plenty of those where you can tell that somebody just uh, has a lot of time on their hands, and you know they 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 understand that there's a way to to settle these kind of like nuisance sort of cases against the state because it's just going to cost too much money for the state to litigate. So you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll toss out a, a nuisance settlement. So there's you know perhaps a small cottage industry sometimes that that can that can develop in, in these kinds of situations where where very savvy people who are uh, who are learning about the process, uh, the legal process while they are incarcerated, um, are sort of taking advantage of that. But there are still cases where that's legitimate. And there, and we've talked about the LA County Sheriff's Department 
on this channel so far, we talked about it in the, in the context of the Vanessa Bryant case, which went all the way to trial. She, she got a huge verdict against the LA County Sheriff's Department. And honestly, like in, in researching for that, there, there were a lot of things that came out that were a little unsavory, right? I mean, depending on where you're coming from, you might be feeling like you have, you already feel a certain kind of way about the police, whether you are someone who tends to, you know, uh, more inherently trust police or, or, you know, um, or, I don't want to say like respect because the other people just like don't respect, but like, you know, like people who, who say like, you know, I, I tend to respect authority. I tend to, you know, like I have no problem with them. And then other people that are like, look, there's so much corruption in these, in, you know, in, in, in the police force, there's so many problems. There's so many, you know, like all kinds of things and both sides of, you know, both perspectives probably have merit, you know, depending on, on the circumstances that we're talking about. But in this kind of a case, um, you know, we're, we're talking about the LA County Sheriff's Department and, and we do need to make sure that even, even where someone who has been convicted still has, you know, certain constitutional rights that are not being violated, um, by, by being held in sort of, if they are med medieval kind of, kind of circumstances, you know, of course this is the argument by his attorney. So whether they're medieval, whether they're not medieval, I don't know. Um, you know, this is, this is what, what he's saying. Um, and so, so the court, the, the, the judge here is saying, Hey, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not certain, but if there is something to be done, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I have limited scope, but let's see. Um, and then we've got this other part where, where we're talking about Weinstein was allowed to, to change into a suit from his jail attire for trial. Um, and this is also for, obviously for, for bias reasons, right? Because if, if he, if he were, if he were required to come in, in an orange jumpsuit to trial, how prejudicial would that look to a jury? Um, if we're going to convict him in this case for, for the, for the, the, the charges that he, that are, that are in front of him, it better damn well be for the actual charges, right? Like, like we all should, should believe in that because that, that is, that means that the system is working properly, right? And that, that we've got people that are actually, interested in justice because what kind of justice is there if we just kind of feel like this guy's slimy because of the other stuff that we we figure that he's done or that we know that he's done in the past um and then we say we kind of like use this as an excuse against him we don't we don't like that so for prejudice for reasons of prejudice you know allowing him to to come in in a suit of course of course that's a that's a that's kind of a nothing burger not controversial in my opinion um but him being wheeled into the courtroom soon after his his failing health is one thing that